John Quincy Adams, A Statesman's Legacy. Today we delve into the life and legacy of one of America's most remarkable statesmen, John Quincy Adams. Born into a family deeply rooted in American politics, Adams emerged as a pivotal figure in shaping the nation's early history. From his diplomatic endeavors to his presidency, Adams' contributions reverberate through time, leaving an indelible mark on American political thought and international relations. Early Life John Quincy Adams was born on July 11, 1767, in Braintree, Massachusetts, which is now part of Quincy. He was the eldest son of John Adams, who later became the second president of the United States, and Abigail Adams, a prominent advocate for women's rights and education. Growing up, Adams was surrounded by politics and intellectual discourse, as his family was deeply involved in the American Revolution and the early formation of the United States. As a child, Adams received a rigorous education from his parents, who placed great emphasis on learning and critical thinking. His father, John Adams, often engaged him in discussions about politics, philosophy, and history, instilling in him a deep sense of duty and patriotism from an early age. Education. Adams' formal education began at a young age, attending schools in Massachusetts before enrolling at Harvard College at the age of 14. At Harvard, Adams excelled academically, displaying a keen intellect and a voracious appetite for knowledge. He studied a wide range of subjects, including literature, languages, mathematics, and the sciences, laying the groundwork for his future endeavors in diplomacy and public service. After graduating from Harvard in 1787, Adams continued his education by studying law under the tutelage of prominent attorneys in Massachusetts. He was admitted to the bar in 1790 and began practicing law shortly thereafter. However, Adams' true passion lay in public service and diplomacy, which would come to define his illustrious career. Early Diplomatic Experience one of the defining aspects of Adams' early life was his exposure to diplomacy and international affairs. At the age of 14, he accompanied his father on a diplomatic mission to Europe, where he witnessed firsthand the complexities of international relations. This early exposure to diplomacy would shape Adams' worldview and inspire his future diplomatic endeavors. During his time in Europe, Adams became fluent in French and German further expanding his linguistic abilities and cultural understanding. These language skills would prove invaluable in his later diplomatic career, allowing him to communicate effectively with foreign leaders and negotiate on behalf of the United States. John Quincy Adams' early life and education laid the foundation for his remarkable career in diplomacy and public service. From his upbringing in a politically engaged family, to his rigorous education at Harvard College, Adams was imbued with the knowledge, skills, and values that would propel him to prominence on the world stage. His early experiences in diplomacy and international affairs set the stage for his future achievements and cemented his legacy as one of America's most influential statesmen. Diplomatic Beginnings John Quincy Adams embarked on his diplomatic career at a remarkably young age. In 1794, at the age of 27, he was appointed as the U.S. Minister to the Netherlands by President George Washington. This marked the beginning of Adams' extensive service representing American interests abroad. During his tenure in the Netherlands, Adams worked diligently to strengthen diplomatic ties between the United States and European powers. He negotiated trade agreements, navigated complex diplomatic protocols, and advocated for American interests in a rapidly changing international landscape. Minister to Prussia In 1797, Adams was appointed as the U.S. Minister to Prussia by President John Adams, his father. Serving in Berlin, Adams played a key role in promoting American commerce and fostering diplomatic relations with Prussia and other German states. His fluency in multiple languages, including German, French, and Dutch,
facilitated communication and negotiation with European counterparts. Adams' diplomatic acumen and commitment to advancing American interests earned him widespread recognition and respect among European leaders. He became known for his intelligence, integrity, and steadfast dedication to diplomacy, qualities that would serve him well throughout his career. Negotiating the Treaty of Ghent One of Adams' most significant diplomatic achievements came during his tenure as the U.S. Minister to Russia from 1809 to 1814. In this role, Adams played a crucial part in negotiating the Treaty of Ghent, which ended the War of 1812 between the United States and Great Britain. As part of the American delegation in Ghent, Adams worked tirelessly to secure favorable terms for the United States, despite facing formidable opposition from British negotiators. His diplomatic skill, patience, and perseverance ultimately contributed to the successful resolution of the conflict and the restoration of peace between the two nations. Secretary of State Following his diplomatic service in Europe, Adams returned to the United States and embarked on a distinguished career in domestic politics. In 1817, President James Monroe appointed him as Secretary of State, a position he held for eight years. As Secretary of State, Adams played a central role in shaping American foreign policy and asserting the nation's interests on the world stage. One of Adams' most significant accomplishments as Secretary of State was his role in crafting the Monroe Doctrine, which declared American opposition to European intervention in the affairs of independent nations in the Western Hemisphere. The doctrine, articulated in President Monroe's annual message to Congress in 1823, laid the foundation for American foreign policy in the Americas for decades to come. Legacy and Contributions Advocacy for Abolitionism John Quincy Adams was a staunch opponent of slavery and dedicated much of his later career to the fight for its abolition. After his presidency, Adams served as a member of the U.S. House of Representatives, where he became a leading advocate for the abolitionist cause. He passionately argued against the gag rule, which prohibited the discussion of slavery in Congress, and tirelessly fought for the rights of enslaved individuals. Adams' unwavering commitment to abolitionism helped galvanize public opinion against slavery and laid the groundwork for its eventual eradication. Leadership in Congress Adams' tenure in the U.S. House of Representatives following his presidency was marked by principled leadership and a steadfast dedication to upholding democratic values. He was known for his eloquence, intellect, and integrity, earning the respect and admiration of colleagues on both sides of the political aisle. Adams played a key role in shaping legislation and policy on a wide range of issues, from infrastructure projects to foreign affairs, leaving an indelible mark on the legislative landscape. Commitment to Education and Science Throughout his career, Adams advocated for the advancement of education and the promotion of scientific exploration. As president, he proposed ambitious initiatives to fund scientific expeditions and promote the study of natural history, laying the groundwork for future scientific endeavors. Adams also prioritized education, calling for increased investment in public schools and universities to ensure access to knowledge and opportunity for all Americans. Diplomatic Achievements Adams' diplomatic career was marked by significant achievements that helped shape American foreign policy and advance the nation's interests on the world stage. From negotiating the Treaty of Ghent to crafting the Monroe Doctrine, Adams played a pivotal role in securing peace, protecting American sovereignty, and asserting U.S. influence in international affairs. His diplomatic skill, integrity, and commitment to diplomacy set a high standard for future generations of American diplomats. Legacy of Public Service Above all, John Quincy Adams left behind a legacy of dedicated public service and unwavering patriotism. Throughout his life, he placed the interests of the nation above personal ambition, tirelessly working to uphold the principles of liberty, democracy, and equality. Adams's commitment to service and his willingness to confront injustice and inequality continue to inspire Americans today.
serving as a timeless example of leadership and statesmanship. John Quincy Adams' legacy is one of principled leadership, diplomatic achievement, and unwavering commitment to the values that define the American experiment. From his advocacy for abolitionism to his leadership in Congress and his contributions to American diplomacy, Adams' impact on the nation's history and trajectory cannot be overstated. As we reflect on his life and legacy, we are reminded of the enduring importance of leadership, integrity, and service to the common good. Thank you for your time. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like this video.